work. Hey there guys, good morning, good morning. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spin yous. I'm gonna spin yous around here. And we will get squared away. I thought I'd try that, but I'm gonna do this instead. Let me just clean you off a little bit too. Hey there, how you doing? You guys well? Well, I thought, you know, a couple weeks ago I did a, uh, a live stream feed, whatever you want to call it, from the range. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share our little quick morning workout routine. Do I do it every morning? No, but I do it a lot of mornings. And it's not always the same. I've got some basic stuff here, but we're going to make it super basic. Couple dumbbells, jump rope, okay? Your your body weight, and maybe we'll toss in a, uh, a speed bag or a heavy bag uh, or a barbell. What's the premise here? The premise is, is if we spend our energy training with guns to protect ourselves, we really should be training this to protect it. What we eat, uh, what we what we drink. Excuse me. On that note, I need a little. Uh, what? what we drink is so important, and what we think is so important. So I'm going to turn the record player down a little bit. Yeah, I got a record player down here. I dig records. And that's it, man. We're just gonna we're gonna just get after it here with a pretty basic morning exercise routine. It's gonna get you guys in a better spot. I don't really like where you're at. Let me see that. Does that work better? Is that better? I think that that may be better. So I like to start out after I've done a little bit of stretching, which I've done about ten minutes or so of just good basic stretches. And I actually like to start out with some jumping jacks before I do that stretching, just to get the blood pumping, the muscles warmed up. So normally I would be using the phone that we are using to broadcast to you. And I would have a timer set. And I set that timer for about 30 minutes and I can see the timer spinning and I'll start jumping rope and I'll do a couple things. I'll either, I'll either jump through a whole song that's playing, which is gonna be anywhere from like, what, one to three minutes. You, you hope for a short song. <laughs> or you watch that timer. And sometimes we'll jump, just like a boxing round. We'll jump uh, through a round, take a pause. So we'll use the boxing timer and you can set that one minute rounds, two minute rounds, three minute rounds, whatever you want. So a jump rope goes a long way when it comes to building good cardiovascular health and overall fitness. See what I'm doing here? It's just basic stuff. I'm no CrossFit junkie or anything. One other thing I like about these, it's five bucks. I can take it with me anywhere I go. So super, super easy to do. You know, guys don't want to watch me sit and jump rope, partially because it's hard for me to talk to you while I'm out of breath. So next up is we're going to do some very basic air squats. I'm going to start with air squats. That means not weighted. Get this camera angle changed up here. So feet 
about shoulder width apart. See that? And just drop. Super easy. No bouncy bounce. Control. And I'm gonna crank out maybe a hundred of these. So I'll go sets of like 10 or 15, maybe 20. And I control myself what I'm looking for when I come down. Knees. Some people say keep your knees behind your toes. I know other guys, because all of our bodies are not built the same, the strength and condition of our joints changes that. If your knees come a little bit forward of your toes, because that's naturally how you're designed, don't get so bent about it. But you want the weight spread across the backside of your feet. You don't want to be up on your toes like this with your knees forward, especially when you're going to do these all the time. Press up. When you're pressing up, you should feel that coming up through here, not here, here. Right, so down, squat to the back, and I'm pressing my butt back. Come all the way down and all the way up, yeah? Oh my God, I can't believe that Mickey's doing ear squats on video. I don't care. Do you wanna be fit or do you wanna be playing with guns all the time? And the gun's not gonna stop a heart attack. The gun's not gonna stop a stroke. The gun's not gonna stop diabetes. You know what I'm saying? So. After you get yourself good and warmed up, I'm gonna do another 10 of them. Then you can start adding some weight. Some guys just immediately go to weight. I'm not a weight lifter. While I lift weights, I'm not like a, you know, some big weight lifter dude. So I want to keep my joints lubed up, moving and grooving. Uh, barbell or dumbbells. I'll grab a couple dumbbells. And I'm gonna start out light. Nothing crazy here. I got a couple of 50s, just a couple of 50s. So the same thing here, you're gonna drop down. And actually, I like to come to here. And I'm gonna drop, drop, drop. God. I hear that one knee a popping and a cracking. And we'll use these again in a bit. So, air squats, no weight, add some weight. How many do you do? Depends on how fit you are. I'm not a fitness expert. But I like to keep myself fit. So, most guys tend to neglect the legs. Don't neglect the legs. Don't neglect them at all because not only does it look stupid when you're on the beach, but just as important as the rest of you and these babies carry you around. Things like balance, slack line work. Maybe before, maybe before we end this, I'll do a little slack line work for you and show you how that goes. Uh, I'm not, uh, I don't wanna get big. Not interested, not my thing. So if you don't have dumbbells and you've got a barbell, this is a measly uh, 50, 85 pounds. I'll come in front of me. To, and again, depends on what you wanna do. You come over your back if you want to. I don't like my neck cramp forward. Down, up, down, up. I'm more concerned about good form than just knocking them out. Don't, uh, don't get herky-jerky and hurt yourself. See that? It's driving up through my heels. Easy stuff. So, one of my next favorite things to do, I'll go right back to these. And I've got, I've got dumbbells up to like 110s. I worked the snot out of my upper body yesterday. So I'm more just doing some basic body movements right now. I'm gonna do some uh, farmer carries. What's a farmer carry? Pick it up and walk with it. I'm not gonna be able to move that far because you won't be able to see me, but I'll go back and back towards you. Pretty simple. So, 
keeping in the theme of good movement and in the theme, just like we do on the range, we want to ingrain good reps and good skills. So I'm going to lift correctly, right? And all I've got is 100 pounds here. This is nothing crazy. And when you walk, walk nice and smooth. Pro tip, pro tip, when you turn, when you turn, when you're doing farmer walks, pivot slowly. This is a great way to smoke your back. Turn, I'm gonna grab some heavier weight. These are a little too light for the old farmer carry. We'll go to, we'll go up to hundos. Get this out of the way. And I hope you guys understand that if I wasn't having the camera on, I'd be going through this with a little bit more precision and not screwing around so much. How many sets is up to you. I try to do, depending on, on what it is, because I can do a lot of air squats. Once I start putting even 100 pounds in my hands, I can't do as many. Hundos in each hand, so that's 200 pounds. Turn purposeful and slow so you don't smoke your back. Keep your back straight, neck straight. Great grip builder, great grip builder. I'll turn the other way this time. And we're gonna set them down nice and controlled. Beauty, eh? Super easy, you don't need a lot. You don't have big heavy dumbbells. You can fill up a bag of sand, you can fill up buckets. Do I have protein? No, I don't, I don't worry about that shit. I think people have gotten so stupid about I can't go to the gym without my pre-workout and I need my post-workout and I need my in-between workout. It's freaking dumb, in my opinion. I don't know, I did physical labor my whole life. You got up, you had some breakfast, and you went to work. And now folks are so fixated. The funny thing is a lot of people that are super fixated on that are not very fit either. So to be honest, I don't, I eat, uh, one and a half meals a day maybe. I'll have a couple light snacks. We don't need to eat as much food as the fitness world tells us we do. It's bullshit, in my opinion. And there's a lot of people that agree with me that are way smarter. We, get, we lost our connection here, guys. I don't know how we lost it. I don't know what you, what you lost. So if you don't have, if you don't have access to a gym, you can go on Amazon and buy a roll of this. This stuff's TheraBand. You get different colors. It's a latex band. I buy a 50 foot roll of it. I'll chop chunks off and give them to people. Great stuff. Or you can buy professional bands. I think we've got five or six sizes. This is a medium weight one. Uh, and these are great for all kinds of stuff. Can't do pull-ups? Well, now you can, right? Now, you, now you've got a, a little bit of a, excuse me, see that? What you're hearing right now, my apologies, is my timer. Hello, France. Hello, France. So those can be used for a lot of stuff. This, double it up. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so crazy, you guys. I can double this stuff up. 
And this stuff goes on the road with me and I can do nice full range of motion bicep curls. See that? I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a gentle squat from here if I want to. I'll move back a little bit so you can see the full range of motion. So I can take that, come into a bicep curl and go right into an overhead press. See that? I can lock out here and I can go right into a squat with the band. I want a little bit more pressure on my legs, throw my arms up higher. And it also becomes a balance exercise to have to balance yourself while holding this band and not wanting to, to get bound up or tip over or whatever. This thing's great for that. So many different movements that you can do with these. If you've got uh, some kind of a pole or something, come on, get up there. There we go. You know, I can do, I can do things like this with this. This one needs to be doubled up again to get any real resistance for me, but you get the point. And funny people don't think that there's a lot of pressure or energy required to move with these bands. Believe me, there is. Super, 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 super easy. Super easy. The other thing that we don't neglect is keeping ourselves loose and limber. So when we're shooting, we start and end all training with accuracy. I took that from one of my mentors, Bob Housingay. When we're training, we begin and end, I do, with flexibility. So. Uh, starting from the top down. I like to start out when my kids were little. We used to do this before school. You just stand and you try to stretch up and touch the sky. That's all we're doing. We're gonna stretch up. I'm on my toes, if you can see. I'm on my toes and you try to touch the sky. And you feel your fingers getting longer. Also, again, another good balancing, another good balancing activity. Move you guys back a little bit more. How's the audio coming through? I know I'm pretty far from the mic. How is it? Is it bad? Is it terrible, you guys? It's perfect. Okay, good. So... If you start to think about, you're not just stretching, I'm balancing. I'm on my toes, I'm on my toes, and I'm having to keep myself on my toes, which to you might not be a big deal, but when you can just do that effortlessly and you're not bouncing all over, that's a good thing. While you're doing it, you're elongating all of your tissues, your sinews, your joints, and you're being mindful of your breath. I'm not holding my breath. The fact that I'm talking to you as I'm doing this and have been doing this says I'm not holding my breath. Side note, if somebody ever says they're choking and they're talking to you, they probably do not have an airway obstruction. Otherwise, they would not be talking, right? Food for thought. Food for thought. So start out with that, re get reaching very tall. Then same thing, feet planted reach out, you're gonna to touch both sides of the room that you're in. And I feel it across the pecs, across the backs, your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, your fingers. You're not, you're not ripping them apart, but stretch those joints out and breathe through it. All the while, I've got just a gentle bend in my knees, just a gentle bend. <sighs> Breathing through what I'm doing. Rotate your hands slowly back while you're doing that. Now I'm still pushing out as I rotated. Instead of feeling the stretch here, you start to feel it all through here. So the insides of 
the forearms there, the forearms, yeah, that part, that starts to get stretched out. So we're gonna rotate back and do it. Yeah, feels great. Feels great, you guys. You then rotate towards the floor. And this is something, like I said, we do with the kids. And it takes you a couple minutes. The whole while I'm pushing my hands away as I'm moving through this. You might feel some impingements or some tight spots as you're doing that. Just know your body. Now I'm gonna to come towards the wall away from me or reach to the horizon if you're outside. All the while, I'm not just holding my arms out. I'm pushing them like I am trying to go, go gadget arm into the wall. Oh, well, this is stupid. Well, I'm more flexible than most men my age, so it can't be totally dumb. And I'm just, and I'm not swinging myself about. This is very controlled, very controlled. You know, if you do yoga, let's flip the record. Yeah, I'm playing an LP. If you do yoga, this is all yoga type movements. So from here, depending on your flexibility, put yourself down into a good plank position. Good plank. Plank position is not here. It's not here. It's right here. Hands are slightly wider than shoulder widths apart. And from here, I can walk myself up into this down dog. You see that? That's a good, very basic yoga movement. Driving the heels into the floor. Rotating my elbows in. Got the tension out of my neck. I'm not tense and trying to look around. Just let my head hang where she may. You feel that all through here. The glutes, your abs, my chest, arms. And then, if you've a mind to, you can drop into this cobra pose. Feet go flat. You can come up to here. Now, my whole torso and legs are off the floor. My, my toes and hands are holding me, right? Come back to here. I can jump myself up. There's a myriad of exercises you can do to stretch your legs. In gym class when we were kids, you see people doing a lot of bouncy movements, leaning into the wall, bounce, 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 bounce. Get away from the bouncy movements and think like you're pulling warm taffy. If you took uh, taffy and you just try to like really quick bend it, it'll break, right? But if you warm it up slowly, you can stretch that taffy out. That's what you should be doing with your, your muscles. So all I'm trying to do here is give you guys some food for thought, some ideas that if you can't afford a membership at a big fancy health club, if you, sorry about that. Sorry about that. that now I'm Canadian. I'm sorry about that. Pick up the camera there so I'm not having to bend over. If you don't have a fancy gym in your town, if it's not a money related issue, this stuff is way too easy to do. You can go to the, check this out. You don't need to even have real weights. So this, I made this a couple years ago. It's a piece of heavy galvanized pipe. End caps on the pipe. A couple of eye hooks and some heavy chains. I think the whole thing weighs about uh, 70 pounds. And now you could also fill this tube with sand or water. What's the point of it? The point is that. So now as I'm moving this, I've got to, I'm having to balance as those chains are swinging about. See that? So in conventional weightlifting, that's bad news. You can hurt yourself. We're not dealing with lots of weight, but as my body is trying to keep itself balanced, you get good results. Back to the point. Come on, loose here. need fancy stuff. You could go to the scrap yard and buy the stuff you need to make something like that for a few bucks. Uh, there's a cinder block here on the floor. These are all of about two bucks from a supply house. All of about two bucks. 
And if you've got, got, got a couple of them, you can do a lot of cool stuff with just this. So this is kind of a, kind of a no excuses discussion, kind of a, what's your real goals? If your real goals, I say this enough that I feel like a broken record, but I'm gonna say it again. If your real goal is to live a long, full life, The info for Shelton Washington, uh, uh, are you a student signed up in that class? If that's the case, send me a legitimate email. This is not a good communication uh, avenue. If your goal is to live a long, full life, think about what you're doing every day. If you're just trying to protect your physical body with weapons, you've missed the boat. I've got friends that are my age that can't tie their shoes without grunting and moaning, okay? Push yourself. If you need to see a doctor before you start doing this stuff, use common sense. Look, even a walk around the neighborhood every night is better than coming home from work and just sitting and smoking and drinking or eating or watching TV. Force yourself to get up and move. It is what your body's designed to do. It is what will keep you fluid. It is what will keep you living longer, feeling better, being stronger. Hope you guys got a little something out of this. It was totally impromptu. I just thought, you know what, I'll turn the camera on. So it was not. Oh, I'm sorry. It was not meant to be some well-scripted thing. I just thought it might be a thought inducer. If you had a question that I didn't respond to, I'm sorry, I was lifting weights and talking to you. Send me a message. You're welcome. Send me a message to training at carrytrainer.com. If you guys are not subscribed here, please do. Pass it on to your friends and loved ones. Maybe not this video, but any of them. Send us a message if there's something that you feel that we can help you with. If it's legit, if you are a spammer or a scammer, you can kiss my rear ender didn't rhyme but whatever be well have a good day happy friday because that is what today is if you're watching this in the future and not live thank you for joining us be well oh a little, a little pipe flex as we go is that what we're talking about oh my wife's gonna see this and be like did you just flex your muscles for the internet and i'll be like no what are you talking about no I'm kidding be well guys